Um, we also have a new Land Pride and Showroom. Um, we have a new dealer location design, um, it's a new template, a way of displaying, especially if you have multiple locations, it's pretty cool. Um, we rolled out a new way to list um, jobs, and then we have a new featured content carousel. So we're gonna look through each of these, kind of see what they look like, and then we'll answer some questions. Um, so first, we have the new Kubota showroom. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Uh, just a little snapshot of it. Um, in addition to this new showroom, we also started uh, K-Commerce. So if that's something you're interested in getting set up, um, you can sign up for that and you can get it on your website. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like kind of live here. So if you remember kind of what the old showroom for Kubota looked like, there was all of the different categories kind of displayed on the left. I'm pretty sure it popped you into like subtractors or something to get started. Um, but this is the new layout. So all of the equipment will be displayed on this uh, opening page. And then you'll be able to filter through categories and models um, this way. So a little bit more user friendly, um, kind of lets you shuffle through the equipment a little bit better. Um, and again, it's whatever equipment you carry at your dealership. So if there's certain things you don't carry, um, it won't be listed here, but you'll be able to filter through everything that you do carry. So that's pretty cool. The Land Pride showroom is going to look kind of similar to this. Um, I don't have that in these slides to show you, but by Connect, it'll be uh, ready to launch and ready to be added to sites as well. The next thing, first, any questions yet? We'll take breaks. Everyone's good? Okay. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is um, a new location finder. So this is a new way um, to display locations, both on your location page and then within your top navigation brow. Um, this is what it's gonna kind of look like on the locations page itself. So it will have um, a list of all your locations on the left-hand side, as well as a map on the right. So you'll be able to so you can now out and see the different locations, and then you can set your store, um, get detailed um, location um, directions, as well as details. So all of the contact information and everything will be listed here as well for each location. Then, we have some more. Have the top navigation here the drop down will look very similar. So since it's stacked on top of the page that already has it, that's why it's displaying this way. But the same presentation here will be on the, um, the brow drop down as well for locations. So that's a pretty cool new widget we have going on for locations. Next is job listings. So before we had job listings as a, a way to um, show job postings on your site um, but these will actually be uh, found through your search index so if you post a job and people will be able to google it and find it and get directed to your site um, so we got that set up in detail pages as well for each of those so we'll take a little look into the so this is excuse the I'm looking for a service, the, te the text in there, but this is kind of what it'll look like on the careers page. So this will be um, how they list if you have multiple listings. And then when you click into the details, you'll be able to actually apply directly from each individual listing. So a little pop-up will show up. It'll sh uh, fill in the position that someone is already wanting to apply for, and then it'll send the form directly to your back end. So that's a pretty cool new way to list um, list jobs. And then we have a new featured content carousel. So this will be a way for you to highlight equipment on your site. Um, it'll have a side for a little blurb, so like a little bit what the program is that you're wanting to highlight. And then on the other side, it'll um, scroll through equipment. So I think you can list up to 10 pieces of equipment 
um, and you can pull those from your Kubota series, um, from your manual uploads on equipment or for rentals. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like. And there's a lot of ways you can kind of adjust the widget um, and customize it the way you'd like. Second. Give it a quick second to load. So this is what that widget will look like. So you'll be able to um, write as much text as you like. You'll have a call to action button. Um, you can pick the image for the background. So for here, we just put a black background. But if you want to do um, something specific to your dealer, you can do that. Um, this will be able to be rotated on the right side as well, or you can stack it, so like a vertical setup. And then on the right side, you can see you'll be able to scroll through uh, however many pieces of equipment you add in, um, and then there'll be a detail page as well. So when you click into that, it'll just take you to the page of that equipment, so wherever that lives within the site, whether it be on the Kubota showroom or on um, your used equipment pages or rentals that you manually upload. Like the detail page isn't popping up for me right now. Let's see. Let's see what this one does. Pretty sure that should work. Maybe it's just a me thing. But this is what that widget looks like. Yeah, I think it's just your internet. Um, it's just being slow for you. I think it's a call. thing we're kind of highlighting but a couple extra things um these are like new widgets and new things going on that have already been released but maybe you just don't know about them yet um the first thing is an accordion widget this has been a cool thing that we actually added to a bunch of pages recently it's a good way of like a, like a drop down feature if you have a lot of text but you don't want it to take up a lot of space on a page um this is something that anyone could add to a to a page themselves. It'll live in the um, dealer custom toolbox on your pages. Let me kind of show an example of what it looks like in action. So we're going to kind of show we're getting these pages added to some sites. So this is the widget kind of in action. So for example, here it's used as a frequently asked questions drop down. So something if that's what you want on your site. And if you just click into the drop down, it gives you additional content. And then these go up and down. So it's a good way if you have a lot of information you're trying to share without it looking really busy on a website. Next thing we have is, I know we already shared a new location widget, but we have another one that we released somewhat recently. And it's the stacked location template. Um, we're seeing this used um, down in the footer for some people in place of a get in touch widget. Um, those are pretty standard across all of our like footer templates, um, but this would be a good way, just a new, a new layout for um, showing your locations. I'm gonna kind of scroll down to where it would live. So as you can see here, we have the two locations for this site. They're displayed kind of in the same fashion as the uh, other location widget that I showed you earlier, um, but it'll have an image attached as well for that location. And then you can get directions and then individual store details here. So these will stack in like a vertical format here. We also have a new single call to action button. If you're familiar before, a lot of our banner with button um, anywhere within the site, and it's pretty customizable. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like.
So I just kind of threw this single test button here. You can customize um, the hover text, um, the outline color, the font size. So it's pretty customizable. And then you can link it to either an external page or a page within your site. Um, I don't know where I linked this one to. I think I just brought it to like a contact page or something. But yeah, you can link it to uh, anywhere in the site. And then do I have any questions so far? Those are majority of the topics we were going to cover, but I know we haven't done one of these in a while. I want to see if anyone has any questions on stuff going on with the sites or there's one additional feature that Anyone's we have raising their yet. hand I can't see I don't think anyone's raising their hand the um, spam filters thank you or the report spam link yes Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we, um, we've been kind of getting some people saying like through forms, getting a lot of spam mail. Um, so what we have set up now is the notification that goes out when um, forms are filled out. Um, you have that there's going to be a feature where you can select if it's spam or not, and then those, will, those types of emails will get filtered out. Um, so anyone who is getting notifications for certain forms will have the ability to filter out any spam um, that comes through those forms. And then, as always, if you don't have any questions now, we always, is there a way to adjust the margins on the website? We are having some issues that cut out. Um, you can adjust the margins. Um, so when you go into a page, I believe that's what you're referring to but you can adjust the layout of the page so um where all of our widgets live that'll be under content so it'll be like up on the upper right hand corner of a page if you go directly to the right of that there'll be a, a button that says layout and so that layout allows you to like basically create containers or columns and different like groupings and then you can input the content that way what site are you with, Darla? I could take a look at it when we get off this call and um, and reach out to you directly too. Awesome. Okay, I'll go ahead and shoot you an email um, if there's something specific and I can send you a little bit more about that, um, how you can adjust the layouts on the pages. Anyone else have any questions? It's mostly it for me. And we'll start doing these again, um, I think every month or every other month still, we'll, we'll decide, but you'll get notifications when we're gonna do another webinar and just cover some, some new topics or just some, some new questions that come in. There's not any more questions. That's about it for me. I appreciate everyone coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.